We often think of the sky being dominated by two objects at different times of the day. During the daytime we see the sun in the sky and at night time we see the moon. You probably noticed that sometimes you can see the moon out during the daytime. So why is our idea that the moon and the sun are opposites and that we can only see the moon during the night time wrong? So hopefully you weren't taught at school that the moon only comes out at night time. So why do we think this is the case despite the fact we often see the moon out during the daytime? But it's things like film, TV, comic books, books, art, computer games, all these things are to blame. As they often show a bright moon in a night sky scene. They rarely ever show the moon out during the daytime. It's also due to the fact that often we represent the difference between day and night as symbols using the symbol and the image of the moon and the sun. But this is entirely not the case. So what's the scientific reason as to why we can sometimes see the moon during the daytime? Well to understand this better we have to look at our solar system and to understand how the sun, earth and move, move around in our solar system. So let's have a look at it from above. Here at the centre you can see we have the sun and the earth travels around the sun and it does this in one year or 365 days. Now the earth also spins and rotates around itself. This is what causes day and night time. We also have the moon which travels around the earth. So the centre of our solar system we have the sun, we have the earth that travels around the sun and also spins and rotates around itself and we have the moon that travels around the earth. So we can see the sun when we're on the side of the earth that's facing towards it. It takes 24 hours for the earth to make one rotation which is why a day on earth lasts 24 hours. The moon on the other hand takes 27 days to travel around the earth. So let's take an example, let's look at day one of the time it takes for the moon to travel around the earth. Now anyone facing towards the sun will be in daytime and anyone facing away from the sun will be in nighttime. And in this example on day one, anyone that's facing away from the sun, i.e. in the night time, will be able to see the moon. So if we now travel 13 and a half days forward in time, the earth has moved a little bit the way around the sun, and the moon has completed half of its journey to travel around the earth, meaning it's now on the other side of the earth from what it was before. So let's look at the situation again. If you're facing towards the sun, you're in the daytime, and if you're facing away from the sun, you're in the nighttime down here on earth. But as you can see now, if you're in the daytime facing towards the sun, you can also see the moon in the sky as well, because it's in the same direction as the sun is. Because the Earth rotates very quickly compared to the time it takes the moon to go around the Earth, what it means is that for around 13 days in a row, everyone on Earth can see the moon during the daytime, and then for the next 13 days, everyone sees the moon at night time. So the reason that we can sometimes see the moon during the day, and sometimes we can see it during the night, is because the moon orbits around the Earth. Specifically, it's because the time it takes the moon to orbit around the Earth is different from the time it takes the Earth to make one full rotation. And it's this system that determines what phase of the moon we can see, such as a full moon or a half moon. When the moon is between the sun and the Earth, the sun's light hits the back side of the moon so we can't see it, and so the moon appears very dark to us in the sky. However, when the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun, it appears really, really bright in the night sky when we have a full moon. And when it's in between these two different places, we get all the other different phases of the moon. So despite what we may think, the moon doesn't only come out during the night time. In fact, it spends around half its time out during the day and half its time out during the night. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Twitter at UK Astronaut and also on Facebook at UK Astronaut. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. You may know the children's nursery rhyme, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are. You may have also looked up at the night sky and wondered why the stars seem to twinkle. But despite knowing this nursery rhyme, you may not know why the stars seem to flicker in the night sky. So, why is it that stars seem to twinkle?